If you're an Adobe user, there's a good chance that your images are being used to train AI. While this might not bother you, there has been a lot of anti-AI outcry. But Adobe's use of users' images for training AI seems to have gone largely unnoticed. Most creators don't realize how much AI is in Adobe products, or know that Adobe is using your personal images to train their AI algorithms. In this video, let's take a closer look at Adobe's use of AI, and I'll show you how to find out if Adobe is using your images to train their AI. A fellow photographer suggested that we should label our images not created with AI. By this she meant our images were created with a camera and not an AI image generator. But for most photographers and digital artists, this isn't actually a true statement. Many artists forget that we use AI in our cameras and many of the digital creation tools that we use every day. Let's take Photoshop for example. Adobe's machine learning AI is called Sensei. It's been around since 2016. Photoshop is chock full of AI tools, including subject selection, content aware fill, sky replacement, and a whole set of neural filters. If you've not explored Photoshop's neural filters, they are AI tools with specific jobs. For instance, they can automatically smooth a model's skin, they can transfer a style from one photo to another, and most recently the addition of an old photo restoration tool. Even Adobe stock content searches are powered by AI. AI tools are used across Adobe products. Some artists are upset that their names are being used in AI image generators to create art in a similar style. But we have had that ability to do this in Photoshop for years with style transfer. The AI powered Sensei tools in Photoshop let you create faster and with more precision. You can create a beautiful image with an amazing sky replacement or remove unwanted details and people. We even have AI tools that make your images sharper and increase resolution. To make these tools better, in certain cases, Adobe trains their AI models with your images. But which images? All of your images? Even those you don't want to make public? And I don't remember Adobe asking me if this was okay. While artists are busy looking at AI image generators, Adobe is quietly training their own AI models. If you want to find out if your images are trained on an AI model, then you go to haveibeentrained.com. Type some text or enter an image. Yep, there's my image. But it looks like it's my website that's provided the image, not Adobe. I'll have to look into this. The website isn't looking at Adobe data. Let me show you how to find out if Adobe is using your images to train their own AI models. There is an opt out option, but finding it can be a little bit tricky. This is the page we're looking for. It lets you opt out of content analysis. Adobe may analyze your content for machine learning. In other words, to improve their AI models. You can choose to opt out of the content analysis program. But if you're okay with Adobe using your images, leave this turned on. But you can't get to this page from Photoshop itself. Click learn more for further details. I was opted in by default, but it looks like at some point Adobe changed the default option. If you have an enterprise account, you don't have this option at all. To find out if you're opted in or out of this program, sign into your Adobe account. Not your Creative Cloud account, your Adobe account. And click View Account. What you want is Account Security and Privacy and Personal Data. And here you are, you can opt in or out of content analysis. While you're here, decide if you want Adobe to have information about how you use the desktop app. In Learn More, Adobe states that it collects data on images, audio, video, text, document files, and associated data. Looking further into this program, it looks like data is collected only on content process or stored on Adobe servers, not on content process or stored locally on your devices. So this really applies only to people who use the Adobe's cloud. But there is some content that you can't opt out of sharing. Adobe may still use your images if you make your work public through one of the many Adobe outlets like Behance or Lightroom Tutorials. They may also use your work if they can make it anonymous. They also can use your images if you sign up for the Adobe Improvement Program. Hmm, what is this? The Adobe Photoshop Improvement Program is something different from content analysis, even though the descriptions are sort of similar. Open up Photoshop and go to the Photoshop drop-down menu. Select Preferences, and at the bottom of the list you'll find the Product Improvement. 
Here's the information about the program. Click the Yes box if you want to participate. If you click Yes, you're agreeing to share your images to train AI. It's up to you if you want to let your images and art be used to train Adobe's AI. You may feel that if you benefit from the AI in Adobe's products, you should let your images be used to train the AI to make the products better. But you should have the choice. As I was making this video, Adobe came out with a statement. They do not use images to train generative AI. Okay, maybe not generative models like Stable Diffusion, but they do use your images to train their own AI. Sites like Getty and Shutterstock have banned AI generative artwork, but not AI enhanced artwork. AI isn't an either or in today's world. It can be measured along a continuum. How much AI you use to create your art and post it online. You can't post mid-journey or stable diffusion images to Getty, but you can post images photographed with an AI enhanced camera and edited or created with AI tools in Photoshop. Let us know your thoughts on letting Adobe use your images to train AI in the comments below. If this video was helpful, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. This is Jen at Making the Photo. Let's make something amazing together.